Uh, here, one of my my friends here, customers, uh, here, he built himself a beautiful, uh, it almost looks like a boat, a, a mobile home. A boat. Yeah. A white whale. Yeah. So, what's your name, sir? Oh, we video it. Hi, my name's Alex Frank from New Hampshire, Conway. We have our attempt at building a tiny home, an RV. Seems to be a big thing in the world. Thought I'd put my hat in the arena. Yeah, so you've been a carpenter handyman for a few years. Yeah, yeah, for about 50 now. Kind of old school, don't you have a cell phone? Kind of like that, yet the Amish do. I, I spent days with them. The Amish have cell phones, folks. Game over now. <laughs> that was the last. I had pinned a lot of hopes on it, so I'm getting the last. Yeah, but, um, even more Amish than Amish, man. <laughs> well, the Mennonites, they're still... They're still holding true. I like. All right, nice. let's get let's get into your little thing. Oh, do you thing. want to walk through? Yeah, let's do it. Quick. I don't know how that. This is my first YouTube's. Uh, um, the guy got the bed uh, torn up. He goes. I was looking at his electrical system, checking it all out. It's, he did a really good job, even though he don't have a clue how this electrical stuff works. But he he did out a pretty good thing. So he got for a guy who doesn't. Skew technology. But so his batteries and everything is down there. We were checking it out. Was helping him fit out, make fit out where some ghost leaks and stuff happening. Yeah, stand back in the doorway. One. Is it? Is the couch? Simply. Go from, a, go from a couch to a bed. Very simply. And then from to a, couch to bed to dining desk. dining room table writing desk. Yeah. Little writing lamp at night. What more does one need? It's quite, I eat here, I cook there, I actually I cook here, I eat here, I sleep here, that's about it. Yeah. I work here. And it's cool, are you thought 1890. Take note, close up, what number is that? Number one. Number what? Number one, made by the Brown Stove Company. Magnets. Made by the Brown Stove Company in... Cleveland, Tennessee in 1890. This is an actual coal burning stove. Do you, so you run coal in here? I run coal in here. Coal, I keep little wood. Wood little splinters in here to get it going. A few briquettes. And then I have packets of coal already pre-packaged in paper bags because it's messy. Yeah. Pop that in, goes all night folks. This burns all night long. Uh, you can feel it now. So from last night so and this like, morning. It's like charcoal or charcoal. You use both. Char Char Wood is good. Charcoal is better. Coal is best. Coal, like that you mine out of the ground. Yes, the rock that burns. It's amazing. I can't carry. Watch this. The carry the equivalency in BTUs, folks, in YouTube land. You would have to fill this entire thing would take a cord of wood. Yeah, I carry the equivalency right under the bed in the bag. Coal is where it's at for tiny homes. It, uh, hard to believe, I know, with the electric and everything coming on, but I can cook on it. It actually burns cleaner than wood. It's very filthy and dirty if you've ever cooked on it. I can take off cast iron pan. We're cooking in minutes, just as better than that. Plus, I save propane. I'm heating the place. I'm saving propane. Or you got propane on the other side. Or we have propane on the other side. We also have a little buddy heater underneath here. For when you're in the stealth mode and you don't have the wood stove. You just want a little bit. And just the pilot light, once I bring it up to temperature in here at night, the pilot light keeps it 40-ish. Good so, camping weather. So this is a pop-up trailer. These pop up and drop down like a cab. It yeah. drops down like a, a, a topper. And then it pops up to six foot nine as we're standing in. And you able to drive on the highway you at know. 50, 60 miles an hour with it popped up. <laughs> yeah. Because I didn't want to cut, which is beautiful. It's great to pop it down to go 90 miles an hour from New Hampshire to Washington State, which I did. Or but now it's good to leave it popped up because I only had to come. 10 minutes to Eric's place, not have to break it down, set it up, break it down, go back to camp, set it back up. Just drive around, get my groceries, back in camp, don't have to tear it down. Yeah, Insulated. 
But if you do do cross country, you can break it down and get a little bit get more gas mileage. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Coming here is just like having a shell on a topper. Real low profile. 90 miles an hour all the way here. But once you're in town, I figured... It's a lot easier just drive around. It looks funny. Granted, it looks a little funny seeing a stovepipe with smoke coming out at 60 miles an hour. Granted. But oh, boy, yeah, does yeah. it make life easy for me. When I know. I, I dealt with that when I built the, back in the day when I built the gasification system. Oh, did you? Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 the, the, yeah. But I know a little bit about that. Experimenting on that, yeah. Off-grid type of stuff. So you got a stainless steel, but you put you 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 like oh well stainless steel well we, I'll it's nice. Most people like stainless, and I actually use stainless counters, but it was too much, so I made it go away. I toned it down a little to match in with everything. Yeah. So you all veneer you 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 veneer. you you cut it and glued it and, yeah. and fabricated it. Yeah. This and you, is, tie, you said you was this is copper, which I tie dyed. I tie dyed, but with I tie dyed it with hydrochloric acid, copper nitrates, and sulfates. Uh, very toxic mess, but beautiful, beautiful copper colors. And every little square inch, I tried to take. You know, oh, you got an it's an old dog tag or something that you yeah, use as. A uh, I think an old Indian coin. Every inch you've got, if you have in the RV world, you gotta take advantage of it. Otherwise, what's the point? Every single inch. You got two inches here in front of your sink. Why not turn it into a compartment of things you need right where you need them and gain extra space? So that's what the game was. It's a fun game to play too, of how big and how small and how much weight and how many things you can, it's a fun game to play. So that's about all I have to say. Hi to all the YouTube peoples out in the interzones. <laughs> Hi mom. One more time. So you got the forest department. He's volunteer forest fighter. That's the deniability. Deniability. That's what he says. Like camping. he's stealth camping. And uh, and then you have the hot water heater slash water storage thing up here. Thirty-three gallon carbon fiber sits nice and flat. Oh, right here. More charcoal. Yeah. No, no, not charcoal. Here's oh. the coal. Oh, coal. But it's already pre because it is messy. Coal's messy, but if you take the time, wrap it all up once, then it's clean. And you just throw it right in. Just throw, pack, put it right in. Done. All night. Better than 40 minutes, I'm telling you. I was at, oh, seven below zero of mercury with 30 mile an hour winds with gusts over 55. They said it was negative 35 the other night. And then you and have a dog bed. This is just a dog bed in the shelf. Yeah. I'm going to put all the cords when we're done here back in here. And I have a nice little circus tarp that goes around two sides. I believe they call it a bat wing or 270. But rather than canvas where the grommets can pull out, I put some cable. Very 2,000 pounds you can pull. You can pull it. I got from the camper to a pole and then ratchet it. You can ratchet the heck out of it, and the canvas just sits on top. There's no strain on the canvas. The strain's on now. This is a good. This is a. This is a good idea right here. Oh yeah, the strain. Because now are... all. Because you've ever had a tarp. You know they pull out the grommets first thing. Yeah. When you pull them hard, but now you can pull. And then, and then in a hurricane, uh, it's hurricane. And, and then if you want to cook, again mm -hmm. you have another stove out here. Huh. Yes. So, if it's a hot day, you're in the desert, it's 120 degrees. And you Who don't want to cook indoors. Or if you have greasy bacon and things, who needs to clean up indoors? Cook outside. So that gives me several, also the Holy Trinity, three ways of cooking. From the coal stove to the oven stove inside or outside. Everything in triplicates, folks. That way, if you're in the desert for a month, something breaks, you've got fallback plans. Yeah. Because if you go out in the desert, guess what, folks? You're leaving society. And then here's a four. And that's a hard thing and for any a, man to do. Here's a four way. You can cook over a uh, campfire. I've done that. Why on, why on the coals? I did that for six, seven months when I was 19. I know all about that. You can't hitchhike anymore, so I had to build. It's as close as I can get to hitchhiking and meeting people. 
Which yeah, people do, pe get. people don't pick you up anymore. I well, look at you. You can be dressed so cute with a cute little dog, and they still won't even talk to you. That you sit on the side of the road, you can be out there for days. People, people baby, people long at the bank and grocery store too. They won't even talk to you anymore. It's weird. So, but it's cool. But you get so many people talking to you now that you have this thing. That I've actually got to the point that I'm being nice because you've been nice to me. Otherwise, we wouldn't be making a video. I've got I've gotten myself more than filled with showing it, to be honest. But you've been awful decent, and I don't mind showing it a little bit. But well, well, you're you, right. You, you could it. you could just tell everybody to check out my video, and then they can get the whole tour. Eventually, that would be the goal. But me and technology.